These are amazing days in Egypt, and tonight the crisis in that nation of 85 million people has deepened. The democratically elected president and his supporters have been rounded up by the military. The Constitution suspended. The streets of Cairo still filled with people, and now the country bracing for new protests called for tomorrow by the president's furious Islamist supporters. ABC's Alexander Markhart has been covering this amazing story right from the start in Cairo, and he joins us now. Alex, just first tell us what it feels like today. Is this a country on edge, on the edge of civil war, perhaps? Good evening, Terry. It certainly does feel like that. There are really two Egypts right now. The one that you're seeing right behind me down here on Tahrir Square, which, as you know, is the birthplace of the revolution two and a half years ago. There's been absolute jubilation since uh, President Morsi stepped down 24 hours ago. It feels something like our own Independence Day with fireworks going off, horns blaring. They've got these laser pointers. Now, President Morsi still commands a huge level of support among the population. The people who aren't out here on Tahrir Square, the more conservative Muslims who live out on the countryside. And today, a top Muslim Brotherhood official said that this military coup, they're calling it a military coup, would invite violence in the coming days. And tomorrow, the Muslim Brotherhood and their allies are planning counter protests against the military that they are calling a Friday of rejection. They say they want to keep it peaceful, but things are so tense here that any small spark could set things off. Mm. The military has taken over. So what are they doing now to try to clamp down on the violence? Well, from the appearances, it looks like they're trying to decapitate the leadership of the Muslim Brotherhood, which is former President Morsi's party. They've also issued arrest warrants for some 300 Muslim Brotherhood members, but you can be sure that the Brotherhood won't take this lying down. They will come back with some sort of response. We get the impression that they're trying to regroup now, and we're waiting to see what their reaction will be. So, Alex, as you know, Egypt is such a critical country in that region and for the United States, a key ally in some ways in keeping whatever's left of stability in the Middle East. Is there anything the U.S. can do at all? Or are we just going to stand by and watch this happen? Well, it's a very sensitive issue for the U.S. The U.S. has expressed concern. They have stayed away from calling it a military coup like the Muslim Brotherhood has because that has certain implications. It would cut off funding to Egypt. Now, Egypt gets one of the biggest amounts of funding from the U.S., second only to Israel. They get $1.6 billion a year, 1.3 of which goes to the military. The Egyptian military is going out of its way to make it look like it hasn't carried out a coup. Today we saw it uh, swear in an interim president. He is the top constitutional judge here in Egypt. But everyone knows where the real power lies, and that's with the military. All Terry. right. Alex, stay safe. I know you'll be on the story for us all day there. ABC News is going to have continuing coverage of the crisis in Egypt on all of our broadcasts and online.